Good morning. Um, happy Thursday. Uh, we're in September here. And I just wanted to bring to your attention in case you didn't get this share. It's a blog from the SSA. We get them all the time. But it just drives home the importance of everyone, whether you're disabled, retired or not, 18 and above or less, to check your social security earnings statement which you can find in your SSA account if you can get yourself connected to it at ssa.gov forward slash my account and check your earnings history. They're going to lay it out for you every single year since you've had your first job where you paid social security taxes. It is not going to include any jobs you had that uh, whereby you did not pay social security taxes. That would be if you were working under the table, which is um, not preferred, um, or there are certain exempt jobs that um, one is not required to pay social security taxes. Of course, you don't then get credit for any social security based on that work. But the important thing is, and when I have a client or a potential client and we're trying to get a picture and make sure that his work history is accurate, because we're going to eventually have to address that and the SSA has to address it. And if we have all the right information from the beginning, they might be able to address it along with the medical workup of his file um, and results in award because they have to get through that material regardless of the medical um, to ultimately award. So it's something you want to do off the bat, really. Um, so I typically have my clients download their earnings statement to the extent they can. Occasionally, someone can't get in there because there's some sort of mismatch between it could be the way they think their name is uh, in the Social Security files which is usually what it is on your card. But if you subsequently changed your name with social security, it could be through marriage, through divorce, or just a name change that you did uh, with the courts, um, you might not be able to get in. But by and large, people can get in. And if you can't, you can get that remedied. So you're just gonna have to take some extra, extra legwork there to get that fixed. But by going in there, you can look at all of your years and then you know if something is missing. Let's say you work for a few years at a company and somehow that income is missing and you know you pay taxes on that. Um, granted, it can be difficult to prove something from a long time ago, but if you do have the, the proof that you work there, you paid the taxes, maybe you have old pay stubs, you could feasibly get um, the information from the company, potentially, um, just trying to throw out some ideas of how to get it. Um, sometimes if, if you did a tax return, you're going to have a W-2 or a 1099. If you didn't keep your tax returns, and a lot of people don't because they are told that they don't have to after a few years. I used to think the same thing. I don't think that anymore <laughs> because things come up sometimes 20 years later, I see in the social security world and the person which is that they had proof. So, um, and I'm sure there's other reasons to keep it, which could be IRS related, but um in any event, you want to be able to try to uh, get proof that you paid social security taxes on income that year. Another avenue might be the IRS. They might not have your return, which makes no sense to me also, given the fact that we have digital um, storage and all that, and they save everything else that we might not think is as important, but they do provide an abstract and that will tell you what they had, at least in terms of general, and if there's something that shows there that you worked and paid, then we know that the SSA documentation, some little glitch happened, and you might be able to get that fixed and get that added in. That will be important for your knowing if you are insured for Social Security disability and retirement at the current time, because um, that will affect it. That will, if you weren't insured, it can get you insured those extra years that were missing. If you um, are insured, it's going to help support potentially how much longer you have to work to become retirement insured if you're not already. And it certainly can go towards um, SSD, social security disability insured status, if uh, it is a fairly recent year um, that is missing. So anyway, really important. Sometimes we forget to file taxes. Um, there's generally like a, a 3 three fifteen rule, we used to call it, where the SSA will recognize late filed tax returns for the purpose of credits on your um, social security account. And I think possibly in terms of using those dollars to help calculate your primary insurance amount, if it's filed within belatedly, but within three years, three months, 15. So basically 
three years after the year you were supposed to have filed for. Um, so something to consider if you somehow didn't end up filing the last couple of years and you have to file your taxes. I know we get behind. I know COVID threw a, a little monkey wrench in a lot of things for a lot of people, but it's something to consider. Download your earning statement, review it, see if anything's missing and hop to it. Um, you'll definitely um, find it to be, to be to your benefit. It's not going to be not to your benefit. So, all right. I will chat with you later. And um, I hope that little um, help. I'm going to put the link to the social security um, link to their blog article on this down below. And uh, I hope you enjoy.